everyone. Welcome to the Give Out Day training webinar. There are people still joining, so we're going to go ahead and wait just a couple minutes more um, to let everyone get in, get settled, uh, and then we'll officially get started. everyone for those of you who've just joined us um we are waiting just you know maybe 30 45 more seconds while others join um if you could use the chat module um for go to webinar and let me know if you can hear me uh that would be awesome um you can let me know the name of your pet if you had one or the name of you know that your pet would have if you did have one um thanks Okay, beautiful. We have lots of pet owners, which is very exciting. Um, we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, I um, welcome again to the Give Out Day training webinar. My name is Dawn, and I'm going to be leading you through today's presentation. Um, I have a few housekeeping items to note before jumping in. Uh, today's webinar is going to be recorded and posted in the toolkit on the Give Out Day site. It'll be under the resources tab. Uh, and um, as some of you have utilized, you can use the GoToWebinar chat module to send across any questions that you have during the presentation. And then we'll get to those, um, we'll get to as many as we can after the webinar is over, over we'll have a Q&A session. So uh, I have Nicole from Horizons Foundation here with me today. Um, Nicole is the Give Out Day program coordinator and she and her team are working really, really hard on all things Give Out Day. So I just wanna welcome Nicole and um, please say a few words to everyone um, today. Sure, hi everybody. This is Nicole Pagan from Horizons Foundation. Um, as you know, uh, I am the program officer and Give Out Day program manager at Horizons. We are the world's first LGBTQ community foundation. Um, we are just about to start our 40th anniversary. We've been involved with Give Out Day from the very beginning, uh, when it first started back in 2013. And it came to live with us at Horizons Foundation um, in 2016. And some of you have been participating with us um, ever since, and some of you are new. Uh, so we are really excited about being able to present to you this new um, platform that we have partnered with. Uh, we're really excited about um, uh, working with Mighty Cause. We hope that as you've signed up already, you've seen, um, you know, how much more nimble and and uh, user friendly that this site is going to be and we hope that it is going to make give out day even more successful than it was um, this year so with that I just want to thank you all for joining us this afternoon and hand it back to Dawn awesome thanks Nicole okay so, um, here's a look at today's agenda um, we're going to be going over some of the basics. We're going to walk through, um, you know, just the simple stuff for Give Out Day, the start and end dates, et cetera. Um, then we're going to jump into getting started by registering and navigating your nonprofit page on the platform. And then after that, we'll move into a Q&A session. Uh, and then, again, if you have any questions while I'm presenting, just type them into the questions box of your GoToWebinar panel, and we'll make sure to cover it at the end. Uh, if we do run out of time uh, for some of the questions, if there's a lot, then I'll be sure to email everyone afterwards so that we get all the questions answered. And then if there's a running theme with any questions, then I'll make sure to add those to the FAQ on the Give Out Day page so that everyone has access to all of the answers. 
So um, Give Out Day is a 24 hour long event, um, as you all probably know. Um, this year, it's gonna be taking place on April 23rd, 2020. Uh, Horizons Foundation is giving you early access to the site once you register so that you can utilize it for 2019's Giving Tuesday, um, which is coming up quick. It's on Tuesday, December 3rd this year. Uh, early giving for Give Out Day starts on March 26th of 2020, uh, and the prize money will be announced soon so you can start planning. Um, so just make sure that you mark on your calendars April 23rd as the official day for Give Out Day, and then um, March 26th as the day early giving starts. Of course, all this information is located on the website too, but it's always good to have reminders. So as I'm sure most of you already know, um, you know what a giving day entails, but in case there's any new organizations out there, um, a giving day is a unique campaign presented by a host, in this case, Horizons Foundation, that allows organizations to compete with other nonprofits or you know, against your own goal to win prize money. Um, giving days are an exciting way for you to engage sponsors, community partners, peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, um, and you know, your volunteers and supporters to really spread the word about your organization and your mission, and of course, raise funds for your cause. Uh, the limited time frame that a giving day creates, um, it gives you a sense of urgency, that donors really tend to respond to, and you know the prizes available give you fresh messaging opportunities, which is always uh, welcome. So uh, to participate in Give Out Day, you'll want to register your organization if you haven't already done so. Once you've registered, you can customize your profile on Mighty Cause and start planning your campaign. Uh, you can invite other people in your organization um, to participate as peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, and then once early giving has started um, on March 26th, you can start promoting your campaign. Uh, and of course, you'll really want to push the donation ask on the actual giving day. Um, but, you know, and if, the other thing you'll want to do is, you know, raise money so you can win some awesome prizes. So register, customize your page, plan your campaign, promote it, raise money. Um, this is the homepage for Give Out Day this year. You'll see the URL um, here on the left. I would definitely bookmark it. Uh, once the giving day starts, this is where you'll see the leaderboards that will indicate what place you're in, um, as well as any additional prizes that are going on. So um, make sure you book out the www.giveoutday.org now so that you have it when you need it. Uh, this homepage has all the tools that you'll need as well. You'll see the register button right there at the top. Um, if you haven't registered yet, this is where you can go to do so. The Giving Day homepage uh, also has those tabs. Um, you'll see um, they include the rules and resources like the FAQ and toolkit um, and additional information. And this is also where the prizes will be listed once they're announced. Okay, so first things first, um, if you haven't already done so yet, you're going to need to register your organization. Um, if you have any questions at all pertaining to registration, please feel free to email our support team at support at mightycause.com. Um, to register, what you'll first need to do is log in or sign up and claim your organization on Mighty Cause. Um, so for a lot of you, this will be your first time visiting the site, but um, especially for Horizons Foundation, we did a data migration. Um, with your previous platform. So for many of you, you should be able to um, sign in using the email that you used before. And all of your information for your organization will be there um, in your account already. So um, you should have access to everything. If you have any trouble, again, please email support at mightycost.com and we'll be able to help you. Um, once you, you know, kind of um, logged in or signed up, It'll unlock all of the survey questions for the registration. Um, so once you fill out all of those, you can submit your form um, and then you'll be registered for Give Out Day. You'll receive a confirmation message and an approval email. Um, and then after you claim your organization, then you'll also be able to add additional administrators to your organization's account on Mighty Cause. So multiple people will be able to access the account and help, help you run the campaign. <clears throat> So um, once you filled out and submitted your registration form, you'll um, need to complete the items on your to-do list. Uh, this list is located on the home screen on your nonprofit profile right under your metrics. 
There are five basic items to complete. Um, you need to create, um, you need to add a background image to your page. Uh, you can use one from our gallery of stock background images. Uh, you also would want to upload your logo. Um, that's, you know, going to represent you throughout Give Out Day. Uh, you can add a story, uh, also called a description, that tells visitors to your profile about what your nonprofit organization does. Uh, you'll want to build a thank you page to thank your donors, and you'll want to set up electronic fund transfer so that you can get the disbursements um, that you uh, for the funds that you raise through direct deposit. Uh, on the to-do list, it's pretty cool. If you click on the links within that blue to-do list, um, you'll be taken right to the spots on your profile where you can complete each task. So it's super easy to complete the list. Um, and um, the to-do list isn't required, but uh, profiles that are filled out more by having the to-do list done, um, typically uh, we've seen get more donations on Mighty Cause, basically because if you show your page more love then people, you know, if you're excited about it, other people get excited about it. So uh, the to-do list is a really great place to get started. There's obviously additional things you can do to customize your page, but the to-do list is a great place, great first place to go. Um, and then if you need any help or you're unsure how to complete any of the items, then again, our support team can help you. Their email is support at mightycause.com. We also have a support library where we have walkthroughs and videos that can help you out as well. Um, so Besides your to-do list, we also recommend taking some time to get to know your dashboard. Your dashboard, which we like to call your Mighty Cause Manager, is the admin bar that appears on the left side of the screen when you're logged in and you're on your nonprofit's profile. Um, you'll automatically land on your welcome screen or the home screen. Um, that's the little house, the first icon. That's the first page you'll, you'll land on. Um, that's where your to-do list is located, as I mentioned. Um, it's also where you'll be able to find metrics for your nonprofit. So just some quick stats for you to see like where you're at um, in terms of overall fundraising for your organization. Uh, under profile, which is the second um, icon down on the admin bar, um, you, this is where you can edit your page in the page editor. You'll also be able to adjust your page settings uh, where you can set your goal for the event and you can enable a progress bar on your page. Um, you can also go to the live view from here to see how your page will look to visitors um, without having to log out of your account. Uh, and then below that on your dashboard is the report section, uh, which is going to be your one-stop shop for everything related to donation management. Um, you're able to pr preview and export your donation report, and you can view and manage your disbursements from here as well. Um, part of your to-do list, as I mentioned, is setting up that EFT. You can do that under reports in the disbursement section. Um, signing up for EFT, just so everyone knows, it allows you to receive your funds faster. Um, funds, we are also dispersed by check, but there's a $5 administrative fee for check disbursements. Um, if you do have any questions about fund disbursements, you can email support at mightycause.com. Um, and our support team, again, will be happy to help you. Uh, and then next on the admin bar is the fundraising view. Um, your donor experience section, which we're going to talk about in a few slides, as well as matching grants, um, which we're also going to go into detail on, uh, are both in this view, the fundraising view. Um, you can manage your nonprofit settings, like your URL customization and admin control, from your settings page, which is that last icon, um, the gears on your admin bar. So your profile is the face of your nonprofit for Give Out Day. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure it looks good and it represents you well. Um, and just so you know, your profile link is, that's the link that you'll share with your supporters um, when you ask them to donate to your um, organization page during Give Out Day. So to share your page, just copy and paste the URL into an email or social post or wherever you're advertising the campaign. Um, so as you're going through your to-do list, you'll wanna customize your profile to match your brand. Um, there's two ways to start customizing your profile. You can click profile in your Mighty Cause Manager and choose that page editor option. That's the second one down on that sub menu. This is gonna open up everything you're able to edit on that page. And if you're a list person, you can go down this list to make sure you hit everything you want to. Uh, the other way to customize, as you can see here in the visual, um, is to click profile and then just use the little pencil icons that appear on the page to indicate a section can be edited. Um, just click the little pencil and that section will open up for editing.
So the first thing you'll want to do when editing your profile is upload your organization's logo. Um, you can use that pencil icon to open up that section for editing. Logos need to have a one-to-one -one aspect ratio to fit. Um, the logos on Mighty Cause are the same aspect ratio as many social media sites. Um, so if you use your logo as part of your Facebook or Twitter profiles, you can just use the same logo here as well. Um, you'll want to make sure your logo doesn't clash with your background image. Uh, and then, you know, you do want to upload a background image as well. Um, you can see the background image on the example here is of two people sitting on a couch. Your background image will look best if it's mostly text free and it's a strong image that's representative of your nonprofit. Landscape oriented images will work best. Um, and if you're not really sure what picture to use from the ones that you have, or you're having a hard time finding a picture that you like, um, we do offer a generic gallery of images to choose from for a background um, picture. So uh, you can use one of those as well. And then you can also change your theme color to match your organization's branding. The theme color allows you to pick a consistent color that shows throughout the experience your organization provides its supporters. Um, the, the theme color is really easy to set. Just click that, um, you'll see, yep, click edit theme. Um, and then it'll open up that section for editing. Uh, so you'll see that's where you can add the background image, you can add a filter color, um, the theme color is right there, and you'll see from the, um, the visual that the theme color will update your um, button color, the progress bar color, um, the hyperlinks within your uh, page, et cetera. Uh, and then you can also apply an overlay to your background. Um, and the theme picker is really nice. You can either pick a color from the color box provided, or you can use a hex code um, to get the exact color that you want for your theme. So the about section of your page is your chance to explain what your nonprofit is all about. Uh, the text editor is right in the section, so all you have to do is just click into that um, story section and just start writing. Um, you can add media to your story to jazz things up. Um, you can utilize the inline text editor to add links, upload images. Um, you can link out to videos from YouTube and Vimeo. They'll get embedded right in your story so people visiting your profile can check them out um, right within that section. Um, you can also add bulleted or numbered lists. Um, this story spot is really where you can go in depth about your work and make a strong appeal to donors. Um, you know, tell them why your organization needs their support and show the impact of your work. Uh, one really cool piece that I want to point out um, is the ability to add custom tabs. So if you have extra info that you want to share that doesn't necessarily make sense to put in your story, you can create a custom tab to add that information. Um, you know, for your nonprofit's uh, organization page. Uh, it, it helps keep everything organized and easy to find. Um, you can add anything that you want to your custom tab. It's pretty customizable. Um, some people like to add information about upcoming events. Um, if your organization has frequently asked questions from donors, you can add a tab for that. Uh, if you wanted to add information about your staff, um, any acknowledgements, or, you know, if you have resources you wanted to share, et cetera. It does allow you to create um, three custom tabs that you can label. Um, you can label it however you'd like and fill it in with whatever content makes your profile page look better. Um, and you'll see in the visual, um, the about, it says about and updates right there up at the top above the, the tool line. That's where you'll add the, the custom um, tabs. So the media gallery on your organization's profile is where you'll be able to add any additional images that you have um, for your organization. Uh, it's a really great way to visually show donors what your organization does and where funds are going. Um, you can also connect your organization's Instagram account. Um, that'll import the pictures you already have within your Instagram um, onto your organization's profile page on Mighty Cause. Um, connecting your Facebook or Instagram accounts not only provides additional content, but it also lets people coming to your page, um, let them know that you have those social accounts so then they can easily follow or like you. Um, you can optimize your so social share settings within the settings section on your Mighty Cause Manager. Um, and remember the settings is the gears 
on that Mighty Cost Manager. Um, basically, you know, what it means to optimize your social share settings, say that three times fast, um, is that you can standardize the social template whenever somebody shares a campaign. So basically you'd set a standard logo, a blurb, and you know, you could even do hashtags that populate whenever a supporter spreads the word about you so that it, it helps give you a little more control over what people are sharing um, when they're sharing your page. So the last submenu item within your profile section is the page settings. Um, this is where you can go to update the metrics that show on your page publicly. Um, things like showcasing dollars raised, uh, a progress bar if you've inputted a goal and a donor count. Um, you can also update the calculation period. So if you have fundraised on Mighty Cause before, um, that uh, calculation period um, allows you to sort of reset your page so donations from a certain date are the only ones that show. Um, so because we have migrated a lot of your information into the Mighty Cost system from your previous platform, this is something that some of you might need to do. Um, if your pages are showing dollars raised, you can easily reset them by going to your profile and then clicking page settings and just um, updating it to a specific date that you want them to start showing. Um, the page settings section is also where you'll find code for a widget that you can put on your website if you didn't want donors moving away from your site to donate. Um, so you'll definitely want to spend some time customizing your organization profile using uh, all of the tools we just talked about. Because, uh, you know, the, the more work you put into it, um, chances are the better you'll do. Because, um, again, the more excited you, like the more excitement you show about it, the more excited other people will get about it. Um, you can have the best campaign strategy in the world, but when your profile, um, you know, the place where people actually go to make donations doesn't look like you've done anything to it, um, they, you may end up losing donors. So definitely important to customize your page, um, put some logos, some pictures on it, put some text uh, so that when, when people come to your page, they can see that um, you're active, you're ready, uh, and that you want to accept donations. Uh, so you can access reports um, on donations and disbursements in that report section of your Mighty Cause Manager. Um, clicking on that section will give you a sub menu where you can choose from your all donations report. Uh, you, you have a report on recurring donations um, as well as a donor retention report. Um, again, because we have done that big data migration for you, um, a lot of you should have information already in your Mighty Cause account. So this recurring, or um, I'm sorry, um, donor retention report will already come into effect for you. So this report is really cool. It's super robust. Um, you can tell right away which donors have given to you already or have not during you know certain time frames, so that you know who to reach out to um, specifically, and it helps you kind of segment your messaging a little a little better. Um, so the donation reports, all of them are available to you in real time, and they include information like the donor name, email, um, any designations or dedication options you have. Uh, it includes the gross and net amount of the donation, as well as any fees associated with the donation. Um, and then you'll also know what page they donated to. Um, let's say if your organization doesn't want to fundraise on your organization page, but instead um, you have a fundraiser page that you decided to start for, you know, a specific cause to like really showcase it. It'll the donation report will reflect that people donated to that specific campaign. Or if you're able to do um, some peer to peer fundraising, the donation report will reflect who donated to what peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser page that you have on your organization, benefiting your organization. Um, and then within the um, donor experience section, which we'll go into detail about later on, um, you can set what information you collect during the checkout process to show in your donation report. Um, for example, if you needed to collect phone numbers or addresses from donors, you can do that within the donor experience section so that it shows on your donation report. Uh, and then um, lastly, the disbursement section of your donation report allows you to see your batch disbursement history. You can click on a disbursement listing to open up more information about that disbursement. 
um, like which donations were included in that report, as well as a summary of the total amount, total associated fees, and net amount included in that disbursement. Um, and just so everyone's aware, all donations on the site are processed by the Mighty Cost Foundation, which is a donor advised fund. Um, your organization can sign up for electronic fund transfer. Um, it is definitely the recommended method. It allows us to disperse funds twice monthly. Um, and, you know, but like I mentioned before, we, we do uh, do disbursements via check. Um, those get sent out once a month and there's a $5 administrative fee associated with each check disbursement. So, you know, I, re I definitely recommend signing up for EFT since it's free and you get your money faster. So the analytics um, submenu item in your report section shows you a lot of really great stats on donations made to your organization. Um, I would definitely check this section out a few times um, during you know, whatever day you're fundraising. If you choose to use Mighty Cause on Giving Tuesday, check out your analytics tab several times during Giving Tuesday, um, or if you're planning on utilizing it specifically for like just for Give Out Day, make sure you know this is here, you're aware of it, and that way you can go several times throughout the day um, to check and see where your stats are at. Um, the analytics tab just really gives you a, a nice well-rounded view of you know, what's going on, where your donations are coming from, um, how people are responding to you. Um, you know, the more information you have um, about you know, how people are responding, how they're donating, how much they're giving, the more information you have, um, it, the better informed your, your actions will be. So, you know, if you if you see that most people are giving in the $25 to $50 range, then, you know, maybe you want to think about adjusting your suggested donation amounts that people see when they go to your page to donate, to, to try and get them to donate a little bit more. Uh, the next item on um, in your uh, Mighty Cause Manager bar is that fundraiser section that I mentioned earlier. Um, there are several submenu options to choose from, and um, I'm going to hit on a few of them today. Uh, the first one that I want to talk about is the donor experience section. Um, this is probably one of the more important features to focus on when you're setting up your organization's profile page. The donor experience section gives you a lot of control over the donation process for your organization on Mighty Cause. Um, it allows you to opt into collecting the information you want from donors um, for your donation report, like addresses and phone numbers. Um, you can also set up custom suggested donation amounts, and you can add descriptions to help tie those amounts to items or services your nonprofit provides, um, you know, to help strengthen your appeal to donate. Uh, the donor experience also allows you to preview the whole checkout process without actually making a test donation. So you can see what your final process looks like and then use that to edit yourself if needed. Um, the donor experience is also where you'll go to set up your thank you page and customize your donation receipt. Both of those sections use that same text editor as your story does on your profile. So you can add text links, um, you can add a video, you can add images, um, and then you can also add a custom call to action button uh, at the bottom of that thank you page that tells donors where you'd like them to go next. Um, so a cool idea, for instance, would be asking them to sign up for your email list right on that thank you page. Um, there's really, there's a lot you can do with this page, a lot you can do to customize. Um, and it really helps optimize your campaign and um, just give you gives you a whole in-depth um, experience that your donors can go through um, just for your organization. Uh, the fundraising section on your Mighty Cause Manager is also where you'll find the matching grants tool. Um, as I'm sure many of you know, having a matching grant from a donor can go a really long way in driving donations. So I want to make sure you're aware of the tool that Mighty Cost has specifically for matching grants. Um, the matching grants tool is a really versatile tool. You have a lot of options for how you structure your match. Um, a lot of matches are just typical one-to-one -one matching, where if someone gives that amount, the exact amount is matched. Um, with the Mighty Cost tool, you can do two to one, three to one. You can match a percentage of each donation. Um, the greatest thing is that our matching tool does all the math for you. So all you have to do is choose how you want to structure your match. 
Um, and then you can also apply a match when a certain number of donations have been received. Um, so for instance, if there you know, is a prize available for the most individual donations, um, then you could say that if you get 100 donations within four hours, you'll get an additional $1,000 for your nonprofit. Um, you know, however you structure your match, um, it's super versatile. There's lots of options. Um, and um, structuring it in a way to help you win prizes is a really great strategic um, piece too, because um, you, you really want to just try to utilize these matches to drive the most donation volume and traffic. Um, and the matching grants tool really helps you do that. You'll notice in the picture here too, there, um, as soon as you have a live matching grant, it puts a little sticker on your donate button. So everyone is informed that you have a, a matching grant live. If you have multiple matching grants live at a time, it'll indicate that by the number. So it'll say two matching grants live. People can click on that and it'll take them straight on um, to the place on your organization profile where those matching grants will be listed so they can see what each one entails. Um, and can you know participate in one of them if they want to. Um, the um, the matching grants tool not only allows you to um, post multiple grants at the same time, but it also allows you to post them in sequence, so you can set a bunch of grants to fire one after the other. Um, so if you wanted to go, you know, three whole hours with continuous matching grants live, like you could do it, boom, 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 one after the other if you wanted. Um, so that might sound like a lot, but the tool itself is really user friendly. Um, you have a lot of flexibility how to, on how you structure your match. Um, I really suggest checking out the matching grants tool just to see your possibilities and, and start brainstorming. And then of course, um, if you do get overwhelmed, then just setting up a one-to-one -one match is the simplest and easiest thing to do. And one-to-one -one matches really work um, as well. So the last section on your admin bar is the settings. Um, if you click settings, uh, it opens a sub menu where you can update your organization settings. Um, this allows you, the organization settings is where you can customize your organization's URL. Um, this is where you can also manage your electronic fund transfer. Uh, and then you can also update any legal information um, if you need to. Uh, and then lastly, you can customize social sharing. Um, from this page as well. And um, as I mentioned, the social sharing, that's where you can kind of set that template for when people share your organization's campaign, um, either during Giving Tuesday or during Give Out Day. Um, that's where you can go to kind of create that template for them so they have something to start with when they share your campaign. Uh, and then the um, setting section is also where you can add or remove admins from your account. Uh, so moving on from the admin bar on your Mighty Cause account, I want to make sure that I mention the really great tools that you can use as you get ready for Give Out Day. Um, and those are all in the nonprofit toolkit. Uh, the toolkit has tips and tricks. It has FAQ. Um, it has walkthroughs. Um, it has templates you can use for email and social. Um, you know, you could use those verbatim, you can use them to help you get inspired and figure out how to promote your campaign. It has checklists. Um, it's just got a lot of great stuff um, that you can use to help yourself get ready. Um, the toolkit is also where you'll find today's training recording, um, as well as logos and graphics for Give Out Day that you can download and start tying those um, into your Give Out Day messaging when you do start to create that. Um, so definitely check out the toolkit if you haven't already. Um, refer back to it as often as you can while planning your campaign because it's just chock full of information um, to help you succeed. Okay, so I kind of I want to go through a couple um, ways that you can utilize your Give Out Day site for Giving Tuesday since you do get um, access to your Give Out Day page um, prior to the actual Give Out Day. Um, so Giving Tuesday is a really great day to take advantage of using your Give Out Day site, but I'm sure you all know you have to plan ahead in order to, to have a successful campaign. Um, so to, to help, 
you can really start utilizing those free planning resources in the nonprofit toolkit. Um, you know, they're, they're give out day focused, but they really work for any campaign. So especially since Giving Tuesday is also a single giving day, it, it's probably um, good use for you to make um, if you practice with Giving Tuesday for your give out day campaign as well. Um, so there, you know, there's no real need to reinvent the wheel or start from scratch. Um, just go ahead, you know, those tools are already available for you. Um, you, you know, you can get started if, uh, by checking out the planning guide um, in the toolkit. There's a checklist for success um, and, you know, and other resources in there. Um, you know, these are free and they're aimed at small organizations with limited resources. So definitely check them out as you're gearing up for your, your um Giving Tuesday campaign and your Give Out Day campaign. Um, and then I want to recommend assigning some key roles for the day um, or for planning activities out to specific members of your teams or volunteers. Basically, you want each person to know what they should be doing to prepare um, for Giving Tuesday. And then, um, you want to make sure you start off planning your campaign's uh, message and theme. Um, you can just fundraise generally, but what we know on Mighty Cause is that it's important to have a focus, um, even if you just use your nonprofit profile to fundraise. So, you know, think of a message or a theme or something that makes your campaign feel urgent and relevant and compelling to donors. Um, so what this could look like in practice is, um, you know, if you're raising money for a special fund at your nonprofit, um, a special project, uh, improvements to your equipment or premises, um, or, you know, even just if you find a tagline or a theme, uh, for instance, an animal rescue um, might want to focus on their foster program or a food bank might fundraise focusing on meals for the holidays. Um, so finding that focus, oh, yeah, and I'm kind of going out of order, but finding that focus um, to help make your campaign uh, more compelling to donors um, also helps you plan, too. Uh, and then to go along with the focus, um, make sure that you set a goal for your efforts on Giving Tuesday. Um, you know, are you trying to raise a certain amount of money? Are you trying to reach a certain number of new donors? Um, or maybe it's retaining a certain number of current donors. Um, basically, you want to make sure that your goal is specific and measurable. That way, um, you know what you're reaching for. You can use your goal to help plan. Uh, and then make, making sure it's measurable, you, you'll know at the end if you've done a good job or not. Uh, and then Giving Tuesday um, is also a great opportunity to leverage any partnerships you have. Um, this can, you know, this can include businesses, um, companies that you partner with, anyone who can help boost your campaign. Um, you you want to think about natural partnerships um, that you might have within the community. Uh, as an example, um, a pet food store might be a great partner for an animal rescue. Um, a, uh, a local restaurant would be a good partner for a hunger relief organization. Um, make the most of these partnerships um, by asking them to fund a matching grant during uh, Giving Tuesday for your organization or during Give Out Day. Um, and you know, if you if you don't have any partnerships with companies, that's totally okay. Um, I mean, maybe you could secure a matching grant by asking your board to each chip in a hundred dollars um, and uh, have it be a, a, um, a board match so um, people know that your board is engaged and involved as well or let, um, maybe you know uh, high like higher up people in your community like your mayor or somebody from your local television station um, those would be really good people um, to either ask them to secure a match or just ask them for exposure um, one of the cool features of the matching grant that I um, forgot to mention was that you can upload logos uh, with each match. So if you did get, um, you know, a business or um, uh, if, you know, you had your city council donate money for a match, you could, you could upload a logo to correspond with that match. Uh, and then um, that might be an extra perk that you could tell them uh, so that they're getting exposure to um, from your donors. Uh, and then next, uh, you'll want to make sure you plan out your um, communications for Giving Tuesday. 
Um, the first step there is really gathering what you already have, photos, videos, et cetera, um, and, and then evaluate what you might need. Um, and then from there, you'll wanna move into planning how you use that content. So specifically using it on your email and social media channels. Uh, for email, um, you'll wanna think about who you'll contact and in what time, at what time. Um, and we strongly um, recommend segmenting your email list, uh, making sure you hit the right person um, at the right time. Uh, and you know, there's not like a specific science to it, but you, you don't necessarily wanna send out a generic, please donate money to everyone on your list. Well, that's fine. You'll probably get a much better response if you know who your major donors are and you email them specifically and ask them to give a higher amount or secure a match for you, um, as opposed to, you know, emailing somebody who's only given once, then, you know, you have a different message for them than you would for your major uh, donors. Um, and again, like you don't have to have like completely separate messaging for each of these segments. Um, you don't need to make like more work for yourself, just changing a little bit of information to appeal to each of the um, segments on your donor list that you're appealing to, that is definitely good enough um, if that's what you're able to do. Um, so along with plan your communications, um, you'll want to think about what segments of people that you want to hit. And then you'll also um, want to um, start drafting and scheduling emails. Um, make it as easy as possible for yourself. If you're able to schedule your emails, um, that's awesome. Get those set up ahead of time. If, if you don't have an email system where you can schedule, that's fine too. You can draft your emails ahead of time and then um, uh, send them out at the pre-designated times um, that you've picked. So even just drafting an email um, is a great way to kind of uh, get ahead of, of uh of everything. And that is a great job for, you know, maybe a volunteer or somebody on your staff so that, it, you know, if you are a small organization, it's not just you doing everything. Somebody can be in charge of drafting up emails and then somebody can be in charge of reviewing them. Uh, and then um, social media is the main place for on Giving Tuesday where you'll want to share um, content and stories. Giving Tuesday is really a day that's built for social media. So, um, Think, think about what platforms that you want to use uh, during Giving Tuesday. Think about how you how you want to engage people on those platforms. Um, there is a social media guide in the nonprofit toolkit, so I recommend taking a look at that. It has a lot of great um, kind of starting points if you are just not great on social media. It also has some more in-depth items if you um, are a pro at social media. Um, it includes information about, you know, including videos. Um, and one thing that I've seen is successful um, that donors seem to really react to is um, the Facebook Live videos. Uh, you I've seen it um, be successful when you go like behind the scenes at your organization. People seem to get a really big kick out of seeing behind the scenes and how things work. Um, so maybe that's something that you wanna do is just um, it, instead of having a video specifically about, you know, please donate, you kind of give them something extra. Um, and, you know, maybe one of your strategies during Giving Tuesday is um, you have Facebook Live videos, uh, you know, at strategic points during the day, um, and then you kind of tease something that's going to be in your next video at some point. So people are following along um, with your organization on social media throughout the day um, to, and you know, really help keep them engaged. Uh, and then lastly, um, do not forget to plan your follow-up. Um, Thanking everyone that's helped make make your plan. Or, ugh, I'm sorry. Um, thanking everyone that has helped make your campaign a success is very very important. Um, you, uh, one thing you could do during Giving Tuesday, if you give shout outs during the day to donors of all sizes, um, let them know that you're feeling their love on Giving Tuesday, um, and uh, give them a shout out on your social media. Um, you can send thank you emails um, as part of your follow up. Um, you can start prepping if you if you are an organization that sends handwritten notes. You can start prepping handwritten notes now to send out after Giving Tuesday is over. 
Um, one way to make it easy for yourself is to customize your thank you page and that email in that donor experience section um, that we talked about earlier. Um, you can always send out additional or more personal thank yous, um, but at least by customizing the thank you section on your profile, you know that your donors are getting a note from you right after they donate. Um, and planning your follow-up is also important because end of year giving um, is not super far behind Giving Tuesday. So if you are also planning on doing any communication for end of year, make sure that you um, thoroughly thank your donors who give during Giving Tuesday, because if they feel appreciated, then they're more likely to donate to you again for year end. Um, so just keep that in mind as you plan your follow-up um, and what you're gonna do uh, to thank your donors. So to wrap this up, um, I want to make sure our support team's contact information is here for you to reference. Um, they're a really great resource um, at all times um, for anything campaign related. Uh, if you need help setting up your EFT, um, if you need some help figuring out how to strategize around one of the um, prizes, or um, you know, if your donor just needs their receipt resent, uh, you can reach out to them at any time. Um, their email is up there. Um, as well as their phone number. And um, they're available Monday through Friday, nine to five. Um, and if if you do email over the weekend, um, they'll get to it first thing Monday. Um, so yeah, so their email is on the website um, and feel free to write down the phone number if you know you're a phone person, because um, I know some people prefer talking on the phone, uh, which is great. So. Um, You'll want to make sure you write that down. Um, so before we jump in any questions, um, Nicole, do you have anything additional that you want to add? Um, I do. Actually, I just want to say a couple of more things about Giving Tuesday. Um, we have a partnership with them this year. So if you're planning to do Giving Tuesday, um, the hashtag we have signed up to use with them is hashtag Giving Tuesday LGBTQ. Um, so use that. Uh, you can also register um, as a cause that is fundraising um, just as a searchable uh, organization on the Giving Tuesday site too. So that's a, a good thing to do. Um, you don't necessarily have to think about using Giving Tuesday to fundraise. They um, they sort of think really broadly about uh, what what giving and and building a community of um, you know like action stuff um, it, uh, is is sort of uh, just about more than donations. So if you want to use it as a way to build up your social media account, um, as a way to find volunteers for your organization, to build up your mailing list, there are a bunch of ways that you can think about using Giving Tuesday. Of course, you know, fundraising is probably the number one uh, thing that you would want to think about. So um, use it the way that you would like. Um, and uh, then there was one other thing that I, uh, an interesting idea that I um, heard when I was at a conference earlier this year about if you're doing um, like in person or not in person, if you're doing partnerships with local businesses, uh, Dawn brought up, you know, maybe partner with a restaurant. If you have local restaurants that are, um, you know, going to be interested in partnering with you, an idea that folks had was to um, see if they would include a flyer in with the bill fold when they um, give folks their bill at the end of the meal. Um, so that way, you know, you're, they're seeing something about your organization there. Um, so that's just something that you can think about. Um, and that's pretty much all I would have to say in terms of thinking about Giving Tuesday. Um, if you have questions about Give Out Day specifically that aren't about the platform, more about like, you know, who can register, um, you know, support from Horizons or something like that, then please reach out to Horizons Foundation at giveoutday at horizonsfoundation.org. Um, and we will answer any of the sort of questions that aren't really based on uh, using the platform itself. You should, you should go directly to Mighty Cause if you have those questions. They have a great support team um, and have agreed to be the point folks for that kind of support. Um, now we just want to go ahead and open it up to questions and see if there's anything that um, you all uh, would love to know. Um, so there are some questions. Um, 
first, I just want to thank everyone so much who gave me the name of their pet. There's some really adorable names and also some very few comments. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> I enjoyed reading them. Um, so for questions, uh, the first one we got was, are fees automatically taken out before they are sent to us? Um, yes. So donors have the option to cover the fees within the checkout process. So if they've covered your fees, then you'll be sent the full amount of their donation. Um, if they have not covered your fees, then um, the fees will be taken out before you're sent the, um, the funds. And then you can see everything that's, that's happened in your donation reports. You can tell which donors covered the fees, which ones didn't, what your total fees were, and then your total net donations that you were sent. Uh, let's see. Um, there were a couple questions about the... Um, the hero image or the banner on the organization page. Um, I don't remember the dimensions off the top of my head, but um, it, um, if you go into the editor, then um, it should give you an aspect ratio. Um, if it doesn't, I'll double check that and then um, Stacy, I'll email you uh, so that we can make sure that um, you get a good picture in there. Um, but all of the uh, image ex editing section, so the logo and the banner, um, they do have aspect ratios in there to kind of help guide you uh, on the size of the image. Um, let's see. Uh, how to add, um, how do I add a button to the body of the page? So um, if you highlight a word and you hyperlink it, then, um, and this, if, if you're not in there right now, this might be going a little over people's head, but um, if you put like, let's say you wanted to uh, learn more, you wanted people to learn more and you want to learn more to be a button within your story, you would type out learn more in your story, um, you'd highlight it, you'd hyperlink it with, you know, whatever you wanted to link out to within your own site. And then um, when you hyperlink it, there will be extra um, uh, tools that pop up. And one of them is, it looks like a little magic wand. And if you click on that, it'll turn into a button. Um, automatically. So then as soon as you unhyperlink it, it takes away the button feature. Um, so that's how you can make a button within your um, uh, page. And then if you are having trouble um, or, you know, it's like not working for you for whatever reason or you can't find the tools, um, just you can email support at mightycause.com and we'll be happy to magically turn it into a button for you. Uh, is there any way to have this recording sent to us? Yes. So um, you should be getting a follow-up email, but we will be posting the recording of the webinar in the toolkit, um, which again is under the resources on giveoutday.org. Uh, so you'll be able to access the um, webinar recording at any time um, for you to review again. Let's see. Um, so how do I redirect notification emails um, to a different email address? Um, notification emails, um, whether, you know, whatever you're getting no notified about, um, are connected to the email that's associated um, as the admin for your account. So if you wanted um, a different email to get the notification emails, then you'd need to um, add that email as an admin to your nonprofit account so that, um, and then remove the one that you don't want um, receiving donate or notifications. Uh, let's see, my organization already uses Mighty Cause for fundraising. Um, when we registered for Give Out Day, did it link with our existing Mighty Cause account? Yes. Um, you'll have, um, you have access to both, but, um, the URL will be different in that um, when you're on your give out day version, it'll say giveoutday.org backslash organization backslash the name of your nonprofit. Um, if and you know if you're on the the like regular Mighty Cause platform, then that URL, the front of it will be Mighty Cause. So as long as it says giveoutday.org, um, then you're you're on the Give Out Day site. Plus, it'll have the Give Out Day logo on your page as well. Uh, let's see. Do we need to register separately for Give Out Day and Giving Tuesday? No. Um, you can participate in Giving Tuesday uh, right on your Give Out Day site. 
Um, Mighty Cause is does have their own Giving Tuesday, but um, you do not need to register for that because you've already got your Give Out Day site. Um, and um, Nicole, you said you mentioned you had a partnership with Giving Tuesday. Yeah, they just wanted us to kind of, uh, you know, how Giving Tuesday is sort of a disaggregated giving day, and they, they look to sort of local leaders to kind of tackle an area and, and get folks engaged with it. So they reached out to Horizons earlier this year because they wanted to start doing cause-related hashtags. Um, so we worked with them to develop the um, Giving Tuesday or the hashtag Giving Tuesday LGBTQ. Perfect. Um, so, again, you can just use your Give Out Day site um, for your Giving Tuesday fundraising. And then if you do, um, and you just, if you use your organization page, um, then you can just reset your page metrics um, within the page settings that we talked about earlier uh, to, so that you can only reflect funds raised on Give Out Day once that time comes. Um, and then, of course, any questions, definitely email support at mightycause.com and they can help you out. I know um, it's a little hard to visualize things when you're not looking at them, at least for me. So um, hopefully this is answering your question. Um, do we need to start our own fundraiser specifically for Give Out Day or will an official one be shared with us at a later date? So. Um, you should, if you haven't already, you should register for Give Out Day. Um, if you go to giveoutday.org and click register, then um, you can you can sign in uh, and access the registration questions. Um, and you can use your regular organization page to fundraise. Um, if you wanted to start your own, um, like a, a your own fundraiser um, benefiting your organization, um, then you you could, uh, but you can just use the regular organization page to raise your funds for Give Out Day. Um, basically, the the official uh, site is GiveOutDay.org, so that's what we're sharing with people. Um, and then when you register, then um, you you'll have your GiveOutDay.org. Um, backslash organization backslash the name of your nonprofit. Um, so then that'll be your official link, but you have to register first. Um, so if you have any questions about that, um, then um, feel free to email support um, since um, I don't really have additional visualization to where you're at in that process, but hopefully that's helpful. Um, let's see. So somebody had a question about um, registering. Uh, so if you are, um, if you're not seeing your org, you should, everyone should be seeing their organization when you have to pick an organization, everyone should be seeing their organization um, in uh, like already there. Cause we did that um, data migration to work out all of the fiscal sponsorships and things like that. But if you are having trouble or you're not seeing your organization or something funky is happening, um, definitely email support at mightycause.com. That way they can look specifically into your individual case to, to make sure that they get you the correct directions. Uh, let's see. Um, How does Horizons promote individual organizations' pages to a wider audience? Um, I'm going to let you take that, Nicole. Sure. Um, as the overall sponsor for Give Out Day, we don't actually do any promotion of any one organization. What we like to do is drive folks to the site generally and promote different ways of searching, searching for organizations that they know about, searching for organizations that are local to them or local to places that they have an affinity to. So that is the way that we try to think about how we promote Give Out Day. Great. Um, and then uh, two minutes left, we have um, really one question left. Um, this is more of a specific question, but um, this organization's already registered for another Giving Day, Give to the Max Day. And then they're asking, do we have to register again for Giving Tuesday? Um, no, uh, you do not. Um, make sure you register for Give Out Day. Um, that way you can be a part of Give Out Day and then you can do your Giving Tuesday fundraising um, on the Give Out Day site. 
um, since you'll have access to all of their tools and all of that good stuff. Um, so yeah, so that is all the questions. Um, one minute to spare. Um, Nicole, do you have any parting words? Yeah, I just want to thank everybody for joining us today. We're really excited about um, what this new platform is going to make possible for the growth of Give Out Day um, and really looking forward to working with um, our team at Mighty Cause to support all of you in your efforts. If you have any questions that are not specific to the, um, the platform itself, please go ahead and reach out to me at any time give out day at horizonsfoundation.org and um, if uh, I'm looking forward to supporting you as well so good luck with everything and we will be chatting again I'm fairly certain in the next couple of months as we do more webinars perfect thanks Nicole thanks everyone um, really appreciate your time and uh, platform questions feel free to email support at mightycause.com um, I hope everyone has a great day bye thank you everybody